it's, it's, it's more about what they, know, what, what they know about you and, and what they collect about you and what they share, what they know they share with, you, with, with other people. Um, you know, so, so we, we do a lot of laws that, that, that say you can't do this with data, you cannot do this data, but you're trusting people with data about you and they have to protect it and they have to protect that data. And how, how are their security? How is their security in terms of protection of data? So it's just, I'm, I'm more concerned about the things that the behaviors of you know, my family, my children, Worst case scenario with a company is they send you an unsolicited email or an unsolicited uh, piece of mail or a, uh, you know, a brochure or something like a catalog. Whereas in with regard to the government, it could be quite quite more severe. You know, there could be a knock at the door and well, we've we've got this profile on you, which you know seems to indicate raises some red flags for us and. Why don't you get in the car here? We're going to go down and discuss this. this is, you know, it, it is interesting the different way Europe looks, for example, at, at information and how the, the Europeans, you know, have, have a far more uh, reticent to, to trust their governments with information, and 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 you've got that construct over there, and it, it literally. You know, it's a, it's almost an offense if you get some unsolicited letter or something like that. They just go crazy. There's no direct, there's no this, you know, unsolicited or direct mail or they, this just doesn't happen over in Europe. And it's 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 sort of interesting. I, I would, you know, uh, I've I've got far less concern about somebody sending me an unsolicited, you know, that I can just throw in the trash can or delete or whatever than the government having, you know, a, a compiled up portfolio on me that all of a sudden, you know, because of these various pieces of information coming together, it says, well, you know, we better go, we better have a chat with this Mr. McCoy and, you know, and find out a little bit more about this. I, you know, that's... If you go back to the scenario, what we're talking about a country that's being oppressive, okay? Mm -hmm. And there are people that are doing business in that country because there are consumers for their product. People are willing to give the data because they find value mm -hmm. in, in giving data to people. It's just like you go to the grocery store and you have your, you have your, your discount card. Right, right, sure. And, sure. And Wegmans knows everything that I buy. Right, right. I get, I get value. Out of it. That's right. So if I'm sharing that data with a company in oppressive nations that don't have the skill or the ability or the technology to acquire that information themselves, and the people don't go to dot African country here, mm -hmm. um, DLD, to give their data away, who does that African country go to at that point in time? They go to the people that I've trusted with information about myself. So, so, so they may send me the catalog. And that's an interesting thing because it, it, with this whole cloud computing, it brings it brings you know one of the things I was sort of toying around with is that it comes back into the old Napster days where you know you the concern that what what drove peer to, what what started really the driver of peer to peer was the fact that all of a sudden you had someone that you could you could actually a Verizon or whatever could actually you know or, or RIA or whatever could actually have put action against in terms of copyright infringement. Now that you're going to go back to the cloud, you'll have, you know, you go to the Microsoft or the Google or whatever and and have some place to serve. And, and like with the government as well, there's there's one place there, Verizon and others are served all the time by the various governmental ag 
agencies to, to provide information. You're exactly right. And how how is that? And one of the things we looked at with with our scenario is then how does that push back into into peer to peer or more particularly into some sort of uh, underground railroad situation where where all of a sudden there's there, there's a real value and a premium set up to this to this to these schemes that are set up to hide all this traffic so that particularly if if you know one of the things we discussed in here is if if all of a sudden you know countries that are really strapped for uh, uh, for revenue start looking at this 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 incredible commerce interstate here and start setting up toll booths and start looking at well we're going to do a vig on on everything that crosses the you know a, a vat on everything that crosses the, the the transit over here I mean I it, yeah I, I was toying around with this with the with the Microsoft people of late and I guess I should with the Google 